Family Skin is excited to announce that we are one of only a few exclusive retailers to offer the new La Roche-Posay My UV patch. This high-tech patch is the first flexible skin sensor that works with your smartphone to track UV exposure and help you protect your skin in the sun. To start using My UV Patch, lift the patch from the card without removing the protective layer on the front. Immediately apply the adhesive side of the patch on the back of the hand, wrist, or forearm. Press down on the patch firmly for 10 seconds. Then carefully remove the silver protective layer and your patch is ready to go. Connect My UV Patch to your smartphone by downloading the free My UV Patch app from Google Play or the App Store. Open the app and follow the easy instructions to create your profile. Then select your skin tone, eye color, hair color, skin type, and favorite texture of sunscreen. The app will use this information to provide you with customized feedback about your daily sun exposure. Connect your patch to the app by scanning it with your phone. For best results, scan your patch under natural light. The app will remind you to scan your patch regularly and show your UV exposure over time. This revolutionary patch is the first stretchable skin sensor that helps you learn more about your daily sun habits. Just scan the patch with your smartphone to track your UV exposure and receive customized sun safety tips. Thinner than the average strand of hair, the patch is designed to wear comfortably for five days, whether you're going for a run, taking a dip in the pool, or even working at the office. With My UV Patch, you'll receive detailed information about how your skin is affected by the sun. The mobile app will use your skin tone, eye color, hair color, skin type, and favorite sunscreen texture to provide you with customized feedback about your daily sun exposure. Simply scan the patch with your smartphone throughout the day and the app will show your UV exposure over time. Follow the recommended sun safety tips to stay protected all day. Find all your favorite La Roche-Posay products at Lovely Skin or LovelySkin.com and remember to play safe in the sun with my UV patch. Inspired by agility and monitoring characteristic of bat flight, I have teamed up with my colleagues at the University of Illinois Baran Champaign, Professor Seth Hutchinson and Dr. Ali Reja Ramijani. We have created Batbot B2, a fully self-contained autonomous flying robot that weighs 93 grams, to mimic such morphological properties of bat wings. We implement highly stretchable silicon-based membrane wing that are controlled at a reduced number of dominant wing joints to best match characteristics of bat flight. The continuous surface and elastic properties of bat skin are realized with a custom-made ultra-thin 56 microns membrane wings. Our bat bot B2 has onboard computer and several sensors for performing autonomous flight control and navigation in its environment. The brushless DC motor drives a crankshaft mechanism, a sophisticated inertial measurement unit, or IMU, and measures angular weight and acceleration. Data acquisition unit records sensor data and commands the microactuators. So we have uh, five magnetic encoders located at the elbows, hip joints, and shoulder joints to read the relative angles between the limbs with respect to the body. Each wing actuator, which is composed of a planetary gear head, a spindle drive, and DC gear motor, produces the required linear motion. We have identified five dominant motions of the bat flight and implemented those into the design of B2. You know, in the environment, B2 robot has successfully performed straight flight up to 30 meters. The main wing of the B2 is supported by two independent wing folding joints. B2 performs turning maneuver by independently controlling the folding motions of the left and the right wing. B2's tail legs can be controlled independently. Shaft diving maneuver performed by bass when they pursue their prey was reconstructed by moving the hind limbs or legs. From Caltech, I'm Professor Sunjo Chang.